So here we have a prism. Okay, and whenever a light strikes it, okay, since it is from it is coming from a rarer medium that is from air. Okay, it enters into a glass. So air is a is a rarer medium. Okay, and it enters in the denser medium, so it bends towards normal. So there is a perpendicular. So this dotted lines indicates a perpendicular perpendicular to the plane of the plane surface of the mirror of the prism and then when it bends it bends towards normal okay so this is the normal it bends towards it and when it's going out so from now it is in a denser medium it is going out in a rarer medium that is air over here so from glass okay it is going into air so it bends away from the normal okay so this will bend this is a normal over here okay this dotted white line it will bend away from it okay hence it bends this way all right now why we are doing this okay so one to understand refraction then other to understand how a convex lens works okay so assume the tip of the convex lens okay it is like a prism so you assume this to be a prism all right then there is a truncated prism so a prism which doesn't have or anything that has its tips cut off is called as a truncated so truncated prism and then you have a regular or rectangular prism okay or a glass slab and then the same arrangement is done in an inverted order if you see it forms something like a convex lens okay so whenever the rays travel okay it hits here okay, it will bend little towards the normal then it will bend like this same thing will happen over here it will bend and here it will go straight so this this okay. here the angle of incident is zero hence the line that passes through this glass prism okay it passes straight okay it doesn't bend the maximum bend it takes place at the tip of it but the same thing happens in a reverse order over here and hence you see all the rays they meet at one point this point is called as a focus or a and this distance is called as a focal length all right so here a better diagram okay so this is nothing but a representation of a convex lens so a convex lens would be one which will converge all the rays that are coming towards it and so it's also called as converging lens okay and whichever point okay all the rays will meet that is called as a focal point all right now if you have two convex lenses okay one is a thicker one and the other one is a thinner one so the focal length you can judge a focal length of a thicker lens would be shorter okay so if a lens is thick in that case it will have a shorter focal length and if a lens is thin in that case it will have a longer focal length okay the focal length is longer here yeah, the focal length would be shorter all right <clears throat> the other thing that you can judge a lens so a convex lens is always thick in the center and it is thin at the edges so at the edges they are thin okay right. okay we can also the convex lenses are also called as uh, biconvex lenses because they are made from two spherical um, two spheres okay so this center part if you see it is exactly like a convex lens so two spherical mirrors similarly you have a concave also so concave would be oops so concave is also there are two spheres but in that case they are not meeting okay so if this part is meant taken okay and this forms a concave lens okay and this will be a convex lens so we'll be showing this lens so we'll focus on this all right we'll stop over here we'll continue later